Hi everybody, Ace of Hearts Fox here, and welcome to my first video of 2018! So since this is my first time doing a first video of the year on this channel, I figured what better way than to start with some words from you guys! So today's video is all about fan mail! But to do that, I'm gonna have to break the magic a little, so I'm sorry! I'm sorry! Anyway, I'm sorry! Ew! People hands! This is like the hardest part about doing a fan mail video, is picking which one to do first, but I think I think I'm going to start with this one, because this, this is a big letter right on top. Okay, so this one doesn't have a name on it, but it's uh, it says by airmail, like it's royal mail. Uh, looks like the stamp is in pounds, in British pounds, so I'm going to guess this is from the UK. So that's pretty cool. International mail is always neat. Dear Ace, greetings from the UK. Hello, UK. My name is Jason, and I am a big fan of your channel to box and the work of other furries. Living in Nottingham, England is okay, but it's embarrassingly dull. Our weather is often gray skies, and no one has the energy or enthusiasm to make anything of themselves. It's terrible. That's why I love the content you provide for myself and many others across the world. The amount of energy in your role-playing skits is incredible, and I, for one, can feel the enthusiasm put into every video you've made. Well, thank you, Jason. That is a, actually a really nice compliment, because, I mean, anytime I'm doing a video, like, this is this is it. I, I love what I do. Thank you. I hope one day to come to America, not just for the amazing wilderness or the beautiful weather, either. I want to go to a big furry convention like Midwest Fur Fest, Anthrocon, or Califur. Well, I, if you guys, if you're going to go to a convention in the U.S., I would definitely recommend Midwest Fur Fest or Anthrocon over Califur. Like, if you're going to fly all the way over here, do a really big convention. I spent so much time gushing praise, and I don't want to waste much of your time, and I'll just ask you three humble questions. Question number one. Do you think you would ever consider doing a top ten video on something like movies with anthropomorphic animal characters in them? Or perhaps online furry comics? Now oh, that's a pretty neat idea. I could probably list my top ten favorite favorite furry movies. Two, how do you get into the fandom when there are no other furries in your area? So I have a funny story for this actually. I never thought that there were any furries in my area, but once I started looking around, checking out meetups, maybe do Facebook groups or something, it was surprisingly easy to find a furry community in my area. Now granted, I live in California, so there is just a built-in furry community here, but you'd be surprised. Start up a Facebook group or even just reach out on Twitter and say, hey, are there any furries from this specific area? Like, I've heard of a lot of UK furry groups, but I've never tried to look for any in Nottingham. You would think that the town where Robin Hood takes place would have furries. Question number three. Would you like to be pen pals? I've always wanted to know what life in America was like, and I have no one to talk to about my favorite cartoons and furry YouTubers, since no one knows I'm a furry. Sure, I'd love to be pen pals. I'm gonna try to write back to some of these letters uh, once I kind of get the pile together. I want to try to reply to all of these, so that'd be pretty cool. It'd be nice to have a UK pen pal, because I'm also curious about life in the UK. I'm also sorry for not being able to get you a gift like some of your other fans. Oh, don't worry about that. Really, this is enough, honestly. Well, thank you for your letter, Jason, and I'll do my best to reply to you. This next letter is from Marvin in Philadelphia. I'll start with the big piece of paper, then go to the little piece of paper. Dear Ace, I'm happy to be part of the community and learning lots as a beginner. The art, the colors, the creativity, it's all kawaii. I love it. Thanks to you, I was able to go to my first fur meet, and it was so much fun, so thank you! Kai the Husky Wolf, how was the SoCal barbecue? Sadly, I'm not in California. Neon Slushy is on top of my list to hug, and now you are. May I have your autograph? Sure, I would love to give you my autograph. Maybe I'll write you a letter back and I'll sign for it. Or if you're ever at an event, maybe like a meetup or a convention or something, please feel free to approach me because I would love to sign something for you. That's something really cool that I don't get to do very often. So this next one is from Courtney over in West Melbourne, Florida. I'm trying so hard to be gentle with all these envelopes. I want to be able to keep all these letters and kind of like, you know, it's nice to reread stuff, especially when people are always so nice all the time. Oh, they put a badge in here. Oh, this is so cute. Look at this. Look at this badge. That is so cute. Thank you so much. Give me a badge and a letter. Goodness, you are going, you are going above and beyond. Thank you. Dear Ace, I've got to say that you're one of the few furry YouTubers I watch that still keep my interest in the fandom. Oh, thank you so much. 
That's really nice. I figured I'd give you something that you can wear. Sorry I don't have anything on it to fully attach it to a lanyard. It's okay, I'll, I'll put it on my lanyard, or maybe I can hang this from like the rear view mirror in my car or something. Signed, Chloe the Dutch Angel Dragon. Well, thank you so much for the letter, and thank you very much for this badge, Chloe. I think after I move into my new place, I want to, like, have all my badges as part of my, like, YouTube backdrop. I don't know. If you guys think I should add my badges to my YouTube backdrop with all my, like, gift art I've gotten, you know, leave me a comment down below. But thank you again, Chloe. I really appreciate this, and I'll do my best to try to reply to your letter. So this next one is from Suzu in Maryland. Okay, let's open it up. Woohoo! If somebody's trying to figure out something to send me, maybe a proper letter opener, because I am terrible at opening up these envelopes. They wrote the whole thing in cursive. Fancy. Dear Ace of Hearts, I'm glad you did the P.O. Box thing, because I love mail. The love is in all caps, so you know they really love mail. And I think it's great that I can send letters to my favorite internet people. Well, I think it's great that I can receive letters from my favorite internet people, so thank you. I met you this past Anthrocon and got a picture with you, but now that you have a new suit, I feel like I need another picture together. Will you be at AC again in 2018? Yes, yes I will! Please, feel free to get another picture with me. Now, to make your video a little more interesting, I have a challenge for you. Balance as many things as possible on your your head and muzzle. Have fun! See, I've got an alarm clock, and a fox plushie, and a raccoon plush- oh, shit. Ah! Well, I tried. Thanks for the letter, Suzu! This next one is from Aiden in Manchester, Michigan. Dear Ace of Hearts Fox, you are the most influential person in my life. Keep doing what you are doing, and can you keep posting Twitter tweets about YouTube videos? Well, Aiden, since you asked, I will keep on doing that. I hope we can meet in person someday. If you're ever at a meetup or a convention, please feel free and don't be shy. P.S. If you want to write back, here is my mailing address. Ah, thank you, Aiden. This next letter is from Fudge the Kangaroo in Ledbetter, Kentucky. Oh, I love when people draw stuff. Look how cute that is. Dear Ace of Hearts Fox, when I heard about your P.O. Box, I automatically wanted to send you something. Which would make sense because you are my favorite furry YouTuber. Aw, thank you. It's so nice to see someone with a persona as simple as a gray fox. I'm saying this because so many furries have personas with very complex designs. Also, you're a nice break from all the drama in the fandom. With your cheery attitude, all of the bad things in life seem to disappear. Thank you for taking your time to read this letter. Sincerely, Fudge the Kangaroo. Well, thank you for your letter, Fudge, and thank you for the little picture that you drew. I really like that. This is why I want to add all the pictures that I get in the mail to my backdrop. I think that would be really cool. What do you guys think? This one is from Zenberry in Timber Ridge. Ooh. So it looks like they sent me some money? I don't know, it says, oh it says Vietnam on it, so Vietnamese money! And they gave me a little thing with a piplup on it that says I should open it. Okay, I'm gonna open this. Oh no, I'm tearing the piplup in half. I'm gonna see if I can peel the sticker off without destroying piplup. <gasps> There's a little Ace of Hearts card in here! Oh! Oklahoma Ace! Hi Ace, sorry if my handwriting is bad. I've been a little sad and your vids have made me happy, so here's 20,000 Vietnamese dongs! Love ya! Sincerely, Zenberry. Well, I appreciate the dongs and I appreciate the card. Thank you. This next one is from Flinchy Frost in Arkansas. I got stickers. Look at all these stickers. I'm going to put all these stickers all over all of the things. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put a smile on my nose. Because that, that is how it makes me feel. I am feeling smiley face on the nose right now. What's this? Is this a picture? Oh, this is so cute. Oh! Okay, look how cute this is. This is adorable. Look at this! Okay, so I'm gonna guess that that is like me talking to their persona. That is so cute! Look at this! Even the letter is cute! Dear Ace of Hearts Fox, I love your videos and hope you will make more. Yes, yes, I definitely want to make more. Do you have any advice for how and when to tell your family? I'm gonna guess this is about furry stuff. I'm asking this because I just got into the furry fandom, and my family strongly dislikes furries, and I don't want to tell them. Also, do you know how to draw? And if you do, can you give me some coloring tips? As far as talking to your family, I would try to introduce the furry fandom as casually as possible. Maybe show them some art that you like, or show them something not too overwhelmingly furry that maybe can ease them into it as a hobby. Also, I don't know how to draw. I have tried, and I am... I'm just not particularly good, 
But if you do need advice for coloring or learning how to improve your drawing skills, I suggest watching art streams. There's a lot of really talented artists that will just stream their commission work. And this is a really good resource because you can see the process happening real time. Also, just for building any skills or learning any information, YouTube is an amazing resource. I love your vids and your suit. Please write back. P.S. I'm 10. Aww. Oh, this is adorable. They even drew like a little picture of us at the bottom. Well, thank you so much for your letter, Layla. I really appreciate it, and I'll try to write back to you as soon as possible. Keep on drawing and keep on practicing, because you definitely have a natural talent for it. I mean, look at that. That is so cute. This next one is on a postcard. This one's actually from my friend Roman Otter. If you guys watch my New Year's Eve video, he's actually the one that did the American Sign Language portion. So thank you so much for your help, Roman. So Roman writes, All right, you traveling fox. You should do some mini vlogs on your international travels. I want to see the hotels and lands of faraway places. Can't wait to see you at FC. Roman Otter. So I was actually thinking about doing little travel vlogs. Um, I might do one when I go overseas to Germany next year because I want to try to go to Euroferns and I've never been to an out of country convention, whether it's furry or otherwise. So I'm definitely going to vlog that stuff. So thanks again for the cute postcard, Roman. Ah! This next one is from Nick.Wolf from Crescent City, California. Look how cute this is. They drew all over the back of the envelope. Dot Wolf Nick was here. Oh, uh, you got me. Dear Ace of Hearts Fox, I wanted to say I love your videos so much, and I hope you get this letter. Smiley face. Also wanted to say it's really cool you play guitar as well as me, and I thought it was so cool. P.S. Read on camera. P.S. Your first seat is cute. Ah. Well, thank you for your letter. If you ever want to catch me playing guitar, I do actually lots of music live streams on my Instagram. So go ahead and follow that and it'll notify you anytime I'm doing a live stream. And like half the time I'm doing live Instagram videos, it's just me sitting in my room playing guitar. So thank you again for your letter. So this next one doesn't have a name on it, but it says it's from Princeton, Indiana. Okay, whoa, is this multiple pages? So the first page is a typed piece of paper and it says, to whom it may concern, the following paper was an assignment that my health class did last week. They were to choose a person that they felt had the biggest positive influence in slash on their life. I was so impressed with the outcome of the papers that I felt they needed to be heard. The students were aware of the follow-up assignment and were given the option to send them. I hope you enjoy the paper as much as I did. Happy Holidays! Sincerely, Mr. Haywood. Well, thank you, Mr. Haywood. Honestly, this... Oh gosh, this is really, really sweet. Like, I remember writing stuff like this when I was in school, and I, I don't know, it's like, this this really means a lot. So, let's, let's take a look. To the most influential person in my life. You, Ace, have left a gigantic impact on my life. When I felt down from being bullied, depression, or if I needed a laugh, you helped me laugh. I love your dance videos. Recently, I was depressed. I love your videos, I love what you do, and mostly, I love how you inspired me to be myself openly. I'm actually honored to be doing a paper on you. I honestly and truly am. Anyways, you have helped me through some troubles. With finals coming, your videos now help me with the stress when I'm not studying. You are my favorite YouTuber, fursuiter and non-fursuiter. You are so cool. You inspire me to dance and to act in plays. Thank you, Ace. Sincerely, Wyatt. Well, thank you, Wyatt. This is really sweet. And thank you, Mr. Haywood, for sending out your students' papers, because honestly, this this is the type of thing that, like, really made me want to do videos. When I was a kid, I used to get really, really sad all the time, and I would look at stuff on the internet or something that I thought was funny, and usually that would make me feel good inside. So. I don't know, just, it's, it's surreal, so thank you, I, I really appreciate it. I'm sorry if I'm starting to stumble over my words, but this is, oh, this is really, really nice, thank you. Okay, so that one got me a little emotional, um, but this is the last piece of mail for this video. This one's a package, actually, from Tennessee, so let's open it up. Oh, this is a couple of little things, okay, let's see. So they gave me a little paracord keychain. You know, for when you're out and about and you need your paracord. Actually, this is super useful. Aw, and they even gave me- oh, This is so cute! It's a paracord bracelet with a little silver paw on it! This is really cool. I've been wanting more little furry accessories like this that I can wear just so I can be more low-key furry trash. So let's see, they also gave me- what is this? Mint refresher spray. Ah, yes. 
fancy. Oh, and they sent me this really cute Zootopia Christmas card. I couldn't find anything Tennessee related, so I went with Zootopia. Anyways, I hope you enjoy the gifts. The Glister Breath Spray is a product my wife and I market. Oh, that makes sense. Anyways, Merry Christmas and have a Happy New Year. You as well, friend. And they put a letter inside of the package. Dear Ace of Hearts Fox, my name is Psych the Winged Husky. A little about me. I'm 22 years old, married, and a father of one daughter, currently as of November 2017. Oh, congratulations, you guys! That's so cute! I live in eastern Tennessee and currently work a day job, but I'm also an entrepreneur and own our own business at night. That's really cool! I also work in different... I also work in multiple different arts, like drawing, crafting, designing, singing, and songwriting. I love your videos and how positive and uplifting you are. Plus, you always make me laugh and brighten my day. You truly have one of the most beautiful souls out there. Aw, thank you, friend. By the way, if you haven't played by now Bendy and the Ink Machine Chapter 3, it's available to play, and Chapter 4 will be released in January. Well, I better get caught up then, goodness. Highly recommended. The story just keeps getting crazier. In this package, I sent you a paracord bracelet. Yeah, the one with the paw on it. AKA survival bracelet I made. Oh, you made these? Oh, that's really cute. I like to call them persona bracelets with the paw print on them. I apologize if I got your fur colors wrong. It's a little difficult to nail some colors over via the internet. Oh my god, I didn't even notice. I'm so dumb. These are my fursona colors. Oh my god, I love this. That's so cute. Thank you. Oh, now I definitely have to wear this. This is perfect, because then it can be more furry trash for me when I'm walking around being a human. I sent one to both Majira Strawberry and Odin Wolf as well. So far, Majira is the only one I know of that's gotten this. Okay, this is officially one of my new favorite pieces of just like low-key furry trash that I can just walk around with. Thank you! I made one for myself as well. Nonetheless, I hope you enjoy them. I am all- I also am sending a little gift from Tennessee. Hope you enjoy it as well. Anyway, not really sure what else to say. I hope one day I get to meet you. I always love making new friends. Not too many furry friends around here other than myself. I only know two others, and I only know of two others, and one doesn't know I'm a furry. You're awesome, and I hope you have an awesome day. Your furry friend, Psych the Winged Husky. Well, thank you so much, Psych. This was one, this was an awesome letter. Two, these persona bracelets are really cool. And three, thank you for the Christmas card. And three, thank you for the Christmas card. Thank you guys so much for sending all of these, like, letters and all this mail. This is crazy, and I never imagined that this would be a thing that I would get to be able to do on a regular basis. So thank you so much. And thanks for watching today's video. If you liked it, go ahead and hit like and subscribe. And since this is our first video of 2018, I want you to leave your 2018 goals in the comments down below. I do read every single comment, and I try to reply to as many as possible, so I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Well, that's all I got for you guys today. My name's Ace of Hearts Fox, and I am looking forward to all the videos I get to make for you guys in 2018. Pshh.